Hey everyone, welcome back to the Borg Family Lawn Care and Snow Removal Service. Hope you guys are doing great. So after today's catch of fishing, we got a bunch of fish to clean. Yeah, not sure if this video is going to get taken down and demonetized or not, but oh well if it does. I've seen plenty of other people do them. Why should I die? We got a bunch of these little sunfish we're going to do up today. If anyone tries to say I'm wasting meat, no, I'm not. This is how you get the best fillets on these small fish. And this is how you avoid the ribs. We're just going through them. like their butter we still have that northern and that bass to clean up too yet but they're extremely frozen right now yes although bass or northern, I mean, I've heard multiple ways to clean them. I've heard some people say, clean them when they're frozen, clean them when they're thawed out. Just because they're slimy and they're better when they're frozen. Personally, it doesn't matter to me. It all gets done the same way. And if you're wondering how many times I've cut myself doing this, can't even begin to count. Since I also died in the winter ice fishing, I do this every day when I'm not plowing. Like today I had a set of people out I took out. They just didn't, I told them I was filming and they just didn't want to be on YouTube, so I told them I would be in the house filming if they needed anything. Son of a bastard. Now they're starting to get a little bit slimy. Which means they're starting to fall out a little bit. You can argue with me and tell me I'm doing it wrong, but to each their own potato tomato. So yeah, stay tuned for part two when that comes out in a couple weeks. Stay hungry, stay sexy, and have fun.